etc this is a really long one so i'm not going to play a whole big chunk of it justin here welcome to my sweet lord by george harrison fantastic song a bit of a call to the ending of uh, sectarian uh, religious beliefs you know it's kind of a mixture of the christian and the hindi thing very interesting uh, idea and quite revolutionary at the time uh so uh what we're doing here we're in regular tuning we've got a capo at the second fret uh, this is, of course, the one with the beautiful slide guitar in it, which I'm going to approach in another lesson. But for now, we'll just be looking at the chords. Uh, there's quite a, well, quite a few. There's one big key change in it as well, so uh, which I didn't play through till then. So let's go through the main sequence. So the intro, which is the same as the first sequence, we got E minor to A. We'll go through the strumming in a second. E minor, A again. And I'll start again. E minor, A, E minor, A. And then we're going to a D chord, to B minor bar chord. D, B minor, D, F sharp diminished, B7 to E minor. I'm going to go through those chords in a second to A. My lower, the chorus, E minor to A. Oh my, E minor. A. I really want to D you, D minor, I really want to D with you, to B minor, I really want to D a lot, but in F sharp diminished 7 to B7 to E minor, ah sweet lord. And we're back to the E minor to A thing. So that takes care of the intro, the chorus, verse 1, chorus, verse 2, and the chorus. The second chorus is where we introduce the little kind of background vocal bit of the hallelujah. But then we come to the bridge part, right? So hopefully you can just rewind it back if you're not sure about those chords there. Uh, and we get to the bridge part, I really want to see you. I really want a D7. I really want to see you, Lord. It's going to a B for two bars, and to E chord, but it, and now we're going to an F diminished, so F diminished, uh, I did, forgot to go through the F sharp diminished earlier, didn't I, so let me just rewind that back a little bit, God, that was bad, I shouldn't be doing things like that, F sharp diminished, uh, if you're going to play for the verses, the little F sharp diminished thing, uh, relative to the capo, on the fourth string, you've got first fret, on the third string, you've got... Uh, second fret, first fret, second fret. Right? One, two, one, two fingers, one, three, two, four. So first finger, third finger, second finger, fourth finger. It should sound like that. Just the thinnest four strings there. Right? So your F sharp diminished. And to get to a B7, you only just need to move your second finger from the first fret of the second string to the second fret of the fifth string. And you've got a B7. So that's a nice grip for that one. The way that the, the diminished seventh chords are played on the recording are different each time. There's a few different guitars going on, so there's a few different ways of each one. I've got the little chord boxes there in the song for you if you want to experiment. I'm just going to show you the kind of the main one or the easiest one. So that's the F sharp diminished to B7, which is going to the E minor. Now after that bridge part, which again was D7 for two bars, uh, sorry, D, regular D for two bars, then to D7 for two bars, to B bar chord, B major bar chord, it was B minor earlier on, now we've got, this is part of the key change, this is where we're kicking off the key change, to regular B, and then going to an E major chord, and then we're going to an F diminished. Now, the F diminished that I kind of fall into with this bit here is uh, doing fourth fret on the thickest string, nothing on the fifth string, third, fourth, third, We've got a little bar there with our first finger bar in the third fret, the second, third, and fourth strings. So uh, that's, this is relative to the capo. Four, nothing, three, four, three, nothing. So just leave that kind of thinner string muted. 
you'll find the fifth string is muted by your second finger laying down anyway. And then you've got a C sharp seven chord. Now, there's a couple of different ways of playing the C sharp seven as well. You can either use a A shaped bar chord, uh, which is what I think I hear on the record mostly. Uh, nothing, four, six, four, six, four. Okay, that's barring with the first finger and just using a third and fourth fingers on the sixth fret. Nothing, four, six, four, six, four. But I actually like the sound of this one better, which is uh, nothing, four, three, four, two, relative to the capo, which is another way of playing uh, C sharp seven. Just like a regular C seven that you might know an open chord, but just moved up one fret and making sure the two outside strings are muted. I just like it. Seems to kind of work for me a little bit better. Going to F sharp minor. So we've, this is where we've moved key now, kind of up a tone. So, uh, Let's go from the bridge. So we go, I, I really want to see you. I really want to D7 you. I really want to be you. Be. I really want to E you love. But in F diminished to C sharp 7 to F sharp minor. And then you'll be my sweet F sharp minor. And I'm going to be called F sharp minor going to be mm, my F sharp minor going to be I really want an E chord Just a bit high for me C sharp minor now okay so the verse verse 3 E going to C sharp minor uh, so that's the the E chord I'm hoping that you all know the C sharp minor nothing four six six five four okay I really want to know you C sharp minor. I really want it to you a lot, but in F diminished, F diminished 7, sometimes I just say F diminished, but I mean F diminished 7, I just can't get the words in. F diminished C sharp 7 to F sharp minor. And the F sharp minor to B. Then the solo section is over that same verse thing. So E, da, ba, da, C sharp minor, da, 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 da. And there you have it. There's the strumming. Well, there's the chords. We haven't got to the strumming yet, have we? So that's the chords to My Sweet Lord. Because of that key change and the funny bridge bit, this is definitely one that you probably either want to get written out yourself or be using my songbook for. Uh, the sequences are quite logical, right? So once you kind of know it, that you know, it's worth practicing and again remembering the chord sequences. Like if you've got the songbook, it's written there at the intro. So even when you've got a, like a lyrics and chord thing written out, I do recommend writing out again just the chord sequence because normally it'll be like four, eight, or six, 12 or 16 bar sequences. So it can kind of help if you see the logic of the sequence of it just written out on its own. So uh, you can see it there at the intro. That's the shape of the chord progression. I uh, recommend you do that for most songs that you learn. So uh, the strumming pattern, I'll just make sure I check this right, that what's in the book. Uh, so... Uh, the pattern I've got here, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. That's exactly what's on the record, right? Well, more or less exactly, it's floating around a little bit on the record. But the big deal is the push, because without the push, it doesn't sound like the same song. So the push is moving a chord, one semitone, one semitone, <laughs> one semiquaver, a half a beat earlier than you think it would be. So in this case, E minor to A, one, two, and three, and four, and. So we're changing to the A chord on the and after four. Right? Normally you'd think kind of the chord's going to change on the beat, on beat, bar, beat one of the new bar. That's when you'd expect a chord to change. But when you push, kind of push it forward a little bit, it feels like you're getting pushed in the back, I always think, when you, when you have a, a, a push. Two, three, and four. been pushed into it a bit early, right? So, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, right? So the pattern
pattern's pretty simple. Part of the deal really is playing around with the accents a little bit, right? Because if you played it mechanically exactly like that, it would sound a little bit kind of stiff and, and not kind of right. So once you've got the actual pattern down, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and Push becomes on the D, becomes on the B minor. Down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down. Right, so it's a two bar strumming pattern. It's important that you get that, right? So it's a two bar pattern, and as you work your way through the tune, different chords will have to be pushed. So when you're on the E minor, E, sorry, E to the C sharp minor a bit later in the song. C sharp minor, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down. Right, so that's going to be the chord that gets pushed. So you just have to look at it in, in relation in kind of two bar sequences. In the little F sharp diminished to B7 bit or the F diminished to C sharp seven sections, you don't have to worry about the pushes so much. Just be playing it one and two. You know, just keep that straight. Don't, you don't have to worry about doing anything fancy on that, that part. Um, really good fun tune, this one. And a nice one if you want to get into a little bit of slide guitar. The melody's pretty easy. So uh, you might want to just grab a slide out and see if you can uh, find your way through that melody because it's, it's not a hard one. So uh, uh, I will be doing a slide basics lesson sometime. But I've got to practice it myself. I hate teaching stuff. I'm no good at it. Um, so uh, hope you enjoy playing this tune. It's a great one, really good one, a fun one to play along with the record as well. So get the cap on the second fret, get your songbook out and just play along. You should be, you know, if you're kind of cool with your bar chords, you'd be surprised how quickly you'll be able to uh, jam along with it. And it's a great one for that. So uh, see you for another lesson very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.